Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna video is some positive conditioning to the muzzle. Um, this might be something that'll help. I know that you said you can put Tyson's muzzle on, but you know, it, it never hurts for them to have a positive association to it. So what I'm gonna do here, whenever you pull the muzzle out, it's gonna be behind your back. So I don't care if the dog is walking around or sniffing or sitting, that really doesn't matter to me. The main thing is if I say their name and then I show the muzzle, I want them to at least look at it and see what I'm doing. So for the purpose of this, it's easier if Tiny just sits. So um, I'm not going to say any kind of cue word beforehand. I'm just going to make sure that he's focused on me. Yes. I'm going to bring it out for half a second. We don't want to hold it any longer than we need to. We're going to do this five times. There's five. So then next, you're gonna hold it out longer. Let's do two seconds. One, two, yes. For Tyson, you might need to only do one second. So you just watch his body language. Yes. Yes. Then maybe we'll hold it out for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we would want to do that five times. Um, you can work with getting it closer to him. Yes. Yes. So in this scenario, I'm just getting Tiny to touch it. Yes. You can hold it out a little longer, ask for more engagement. Yes. Yes. So for Tyson, we already know if you hold it out too long, then he gets snarly. So you're going to want to rep out a whole bunch of just quick behind, quick behind. Um, build up that duration without bringing it to his face. Just show him the thing um, until you can slowly work up to engagement with him or reaching out and touching him with it. What? Just a quick little, yes. 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 Ooh. And then eventually we could work into Tiny. Yes. And you could feed him through the muzzle. Good boy. So that's an option. Um, but again, I mean, uh, the main thing here, Tyson's age, um, he's got a long history of not liking the muzzle a whole, whole lot. Um, so the main goal here is just, can we make it as pleasant as possible whenever this thing comes out? So that's the exercise that I would recommend to do. Um, again, you're probably not going to get him to a point where he's actually wanting to touch the thing voluntarily. All right. Okay. Anyway, he keeps on choking himself, so we're going to be done, but that's where I'll start.